Today I'd like to talk about surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome and in particular a technique known as single portal endoscopic technique. The components of this system are a handheld trigger mechanism, a cutting blade that elevates with that trigger, and an arthroscope or a camera that connects to a bright light. If you look closely here you can see me raising the tiny blade back and forth outside the body and here within the carpal tunnel. The surgeon has fantastic vision on a large screen or monitor as you can see here and can release the tight band which causes carpal tunnel syndrome under this magnified view. The goal of carpal tunnel surgery whether it's done with the traditional larger incision within the palm or a smaller incision at the wrist is to release this thick band of tissue known as the transverse carpal ligament. This band of tissue is roughly the size of a standard postage stamp and the goal of surgery is to safely split it from one end to the other. The surgery is usually done in an outpatient surgery center under local anesthesia. Mild sedation is often given by anesthesia so patients aren't allowed to drive immediately afterward. Most patients can drive within a few days if they are no longer taking pain medications. Many patients will just take one or two pain pills. With regard to returning to work, each patient's situation is unique. People who do heavy labor or heavy work can usually return to regular activities between four and six weeks. People who work in an office or who can pace themselves may just miss one or two days of work as long as they can leave their post-op bandage in place. The scar is in a location that really doesn't take direct blows with heavy use. It also has a way of fading over time. By 6 to 12 months, the scar is typically barely visible. It's funny, you can't see either side when I mean, you have to really show people. <laughs>